Hello and welcome to me, Dazblade, and my adventures in Minecraft. So, I may or may not have made a little bit of a mess in my trading all. Now, I say little, um, it's quite possibly the complete opposite. So, we'll go into that in a few moments. First of all, I just want to um, show you a clip... Um, I finally completed the iron farm, fully spawn proof, building is built, uh, so no iron golems or scats put spawning outside the actual uh, capture area. So sit back, relax, take a look at this, and I'll catch you on the other side. <laughs> Don't you just love lava? I mean, it can be used as a fuel source in furnaces. Um, it can also be used as a decoration. And it's also um, actually a, a quite good light source as well. And it's good to get a little bit of a warm up. Anyway, welcome back, guys. So, um, yeah. With the uh, with the iron farm, uh, it's fully foot spawn proof now. Um, I hope those uh, I hope those uh, buttons don't cause um, any lag. I don't think they're gonna do. Um, everything seems all right, um, but I had to change the the flooring on the uh, <laughs> on, on the building, um, and I had to put carpets down. And before I could make carpets, I needed lots of wool. So, what did I go and do? I went and made a little sheep farm. But I got kind of carried away with it. It started off as just the white and the uh, grey and black ones so that I could make the relevant carpets, um, you know, to get that uh, floor completely spawn proof. But then I ended up making a few more and I think I still need um, a blue one as well um, but yeah I mean it's nothing nothing too exciting it produces enough wool certainly in um, in a single player game so there's there's no worries there but um, yeah wool is quite good for building as, as long as you make sure that there's no fire around so that was done. I also made a little improvement to this uh, cow farm area. Uh, I just wanted to make it a bit easier to get to and um, just easier to um, have access to. And plus it also looks a bit bit nicer as well. Um, it's still producing lots of, lots of stuff. But... I've been, been putting it off, Anta. Uh, the little <laughs> mess that I made in the trading hall. Turned out that um, Jeff 
escaped again. So we're now on the third version of Jeff. Uh, I don't know how they was getting out with these trap doors up. I think if they get bumped or something, it kind of nudges them, nudges them through because it's only like um, a one block wide cell. Uh, no, it's not a cell. Behave yourself. It's a cubicle. It's only a one block wide cubicle. So what I've decided to do, I've put these iron bars in front and that seems to have done the trick. Uh, I've also had to put the uh, <laughs> the uh, profession stations, the workstations. Ah, see, I remembered it this time. And uh, to put them on here so they've got access to do that. The only reason I've had to do that is because they they won't resupply their stock, so the trades um, will just end up with a cross in it, and they won't uh, they won't reopen again. Um, because they've got won't have access to a profession block, so that's why the profession blocks are here. Uh, not too happy with it. Cause it does look a bit strange. I wish that I could do it in a nicer way. I mean, I could remove the iron bars and put the profession blocks directly on the floor, but. Hmm, yeah, I'll have to think about it. So, yeah, Jeff is on number three. So, <laughs> what happened? As some of the traders, villagers, came out of their cubicles, who was waiting for them? Mr. Zimby. Mr. Zimby was here. So, captured him and put him in there because it actually uh, actually worked out not too bad to be honest because all I need to do now with these so we've got there's Bob hello Bob and this is a unnamed uh, Letcher I think he is so yeah um, all we need to do now is get these cured and that will reduce the prices and then we can start thinking about doing the same with the other villagers. Now, this left me with a decision to make. Do I go to the Never to get blaze rods so I can push them down into blaze powder so I could build, uh, build, brew even, so I could brew um, a potion of weakness? Well, a few potions of weakness to splash on these guys and then give them the golden apple or do i take the easier well i thought it was the easier route do i take the easier route of getting a fletcher who has um an arrow tipped with weakness which i can then fire into each of these guys from a safe distance of course and making sure not to use an enchanted bow, so just a, a normal standard bow from a safe distance, from a safe distance, and one arrow in him, one arrow in him, and then quickly um, give them a golden apple each, and see if that works. It took me an absolute age to get a Fletcher with an arrow. Um, I had to install a little mod that shows you. Uh, shows you what uh, what what the trader trades at at master level, and that's the only way I could uh, cycle through until I eventually got. Let me show you. So, oh, it's not him. <laughs> I won't show you on that one. Then where is he? It even says arrow leap up there. Oh my gosh, what am I like? Arrow week. Here we go. So this guy, uh, the mod, helps you to see what they've got down here, what the uh, what they're trading at master level. Without that mod, I wouldn't have been able to see this. So I did the um, you know the standard usual um, keep resetting the profession box, uh, scrolling through the various trades until I finally got him. Arrow of weakness, and he is now locked in. Uh, so some of these traders, they still need names, guys. So. Please do make any suggestions in the comments below. Keeping it PG, of course. We don't want anything uh, rude or disgusting. And 
if I actually choose uh, one of the suggested names, then you will be immortalized on one of these signs. As the person who suggested that particular name. Okay, so what else have I done? Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I finally got the lava, uh, the lava waterfall on each corner, which was always the original intention from when I very first planned this. But I've also installed a bubble up evator and a bubble down evator. Now, can I safely get into this bubble up evator without this guy poking me? Yes. So here we go. Oh, oh, oh. And that takes us up here. And I just put uh, iron trap doors down over the lava because knowing me, I would do that and <laughs> that wouldn't be good. I mean, it'd be fun for you to watch, but it wouldn't be good for me, especially if I had a load of stuff uh, that I didn't want to lose either. And we've got the down evator. And it does give a smidgen of damage, as you just did there, but nothing that's harmful. I mean, it didn't even affect my arts at all. So, you know, I can live with that. So... Yeah, we've got the Dynavator and Upavator. I might have to expand them, though, if I want to go up even further, but um, that's something for future Daz to look into. So one of the first things um, to do today, I think, is to, to cure these villagers and see what price reductions we can get. The moment of truth has arrived. I have my arrows of weakness, two golden apple, two golden apples, and an unenchanted bow. Now, is this going to work? I'm excited for it. I hope it does work. I'm going to just do one at a time. So we're going to shoot one, and then feed him, and then shoot the other one, and feed him. And as you can see, they're both behind me, waiting for it. So. <laughs> let's uh let's let's get this done and see what happens uh oh okay let's do uh, is that jeff bob bob isn't it yeah we lost jeff we've got third jeff haven't we over there okay so bob are you ready bob here it comes here it comes bob here it comes. Please work. Let's try this guy. Come on, please work, please work. Oh, now it's just a case of waiting for these guys to get cured. I'm not sure how long it takes. I think it's somewhere between two and five minutes, I think, I, uh, if I'm remembering rightly. So, we'll see. Okay. Whilst we're waiting for uh, the villagers to be reborn, so to speak, um, I've added two more sheep with light blue and blue for specific reasons. Um, I think I've got all the colours that I want now with regard to this uh, sheep farm. So we'll need to look into maybe putting a nice little building to surround it and perhaps incorporate um, these sheeps or sheeps is that a word yeah it's a word I said it so it's got to be a word yeah so we could also include these sheep as well so make a nice maybe a building to get those covered up notice the colors of the sheep red and black they're the colors they're the only colours that matter, really. Um, but we also need to do something with here, because I keep saying I'm going to automate this, automate this sweet farm with um, slapping some dispensers up here with a water bucket in, uh, a little bit of redstone with a button to press, and moving the chest down here to capture 
um, capture all, all the wheat. Um, but I also need to incorporate this honey farm as well because uh, they help the wheat grow faster by dropping their little honey particles as they're flying over, which is the reason why the flowers are there, of course. Um, yeah, I haven't decided what kind of building to do yet, but I need to make sure it doesn't um, clash with this building. Or what if I made a big building with them all in it? Hmm, good do, couldn't I? Just have one, one big building that has the sheep farm, the bees. Uh, I mean, I could set, turn this bee area as well into a um, bit of a farm as well. So I don't have to keep manually collecting the honey and the uh, honeycombs. Okay. But, yeah. So, just need these more colours here. How many have we got here so far? We've got nearly a stack of them. And, yeah, nearly. So we're going to need at least a stack of each of those two, I think. We're going to need the blues. We're going to need the red. Oh, look. Oh, I've got plenty of red in there. That's fine. And the black. We're going to need a lot of that. I've got plenty there. Um, we may or may not need some of the light grey and grey. It just depends. But that's going to be for a little project that's going over there, which is all mapped out ready. So, let's go and have a quick look at these um <laughs> these villagers see if they've see if they've been reborn yet let's have a look i think they have right what are their trades like bob yeah he's only come down to 18 but that's good one emerald and one book a silk touch 11 emeralds and a book a fawns free these prices need to come down more don't they 14 emeralds for a name tag i don't think so sir bob what are you trying to do are you trying to rip me off i think you need to be zombified again what about you what about you unnamed fletcher don't forget to drop some names in the comments. Uh, it's gone down from 32 sticks to 26 sticks for an emerald. That's still way too much, isn't it? One emerald for a crossbow. That's not too bad. Too bad. And what's... Ooh! Arrow of strip. One emerald in five hours. Now, that's a good deal. But... We need... Eight string for an emerald. Eighteen feathers for an emerald. So it'd be nice if we could still get these uh get these prices down. So now that we know it works, and now that I've got a uh, uh, Fletcher in there that can provide me with these arrows, um I think we're gonna have to zombify these again, aren't we? <laughs> the zombie's going to work. <laughs> Go on, zombie. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Both zombies are in the boat. Oh no! Um, hmm. <laughs> was funny for a short time. Let's go and sort it out. Okay, managed to round them up again in different positions this time, but um, they're zombified and they're currently curing. Uh, we've got the zombie stacked up here. Um, obviously I had to <laughs> lock all these um, holes off because I didn't want to risk um, any of the zombies going through gaps and escaping. Um, so now we just have to wait for these to cure again and uh, we'll see, see what the prices have dropped to. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Uh, let's try Bob first. What are we saying, Bob? Me? Oh, so it's gone down to 18. Oh, Dan hasn't um, moved down then. Discounted. Silk Torch. 
is one emerald and one book, which is absolutely brilliant. I think we still need to get this paper down, though, don't we? Because I can make tons of paper. But I don't want to be using prices at 18, do I, really? Uh, that's come down. Mm, name tags. 14 emeralds. Way too high, Bob. Come on, Bob. What are you doing to me here? You need to you need to seriously lower these prices down. Am I gonna have to um zombify you again? I think I am, aren't I? You're gonna be zombified again. I mean I'm happy with um the silk touch book. One emerald, one book. That is a brilliant price, but you know you need to bring um you need to bring this price down. 18 paper for an emerald. Uh, we can get it get it lower than that. Get it lower than that. We'll, we'll go one more time, I think. And let's just check Mr. Fletcher Guy, who doesn't have a name yet. Well, he's 26 dicks for an emerald. I mean, it's better than 32, but I don't think he's lowered him, lowered his price. I'm sure that's what it was before. Uh, that's not bad. One emerald for a bow is not bad. Twenty pin for an emerald. <laughs> Eight string for an emerald. Now this is good. I like that, Mr. Fletcher. <laughs> one emerald, one arrow. There's a strap. It's only 22 seconds, but, you know, there might be some way of in increasing that time. I don't know. Is there? I don't, I haven't really used um, magic arrows before <laughs> or special arrows with the tipping on them so guys pay attention look at me Bob are you listening Mr Fletcher are you listening I'm gonna give it one more go okay one more try both on you this is your last chance to bring your prices down even more if you loved me you'd bring them down you know it's the right thing to do especially you Bob I mean you've got a name you know, it's all on you. You need to set the example here for Mr. Unknown Name here. Okay. Zombie, are you ready to go? I think Zombie's ready. So, guys, sorry, but it's time again. Okay, Zombie's doing his job again. But not. Oh, Zombie's in the boat. Don't leave both villages in the boat. One and you got to get out, please. Come on, eat him up. They're both zombies, and they're both zombies, and they're both in the same boat. Actually, that's 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 yeah, that's that's actually good. Actually, yeah. Okay, okay. Because they're in the same boat, we're going to have to do it a bit differently here. I'm going to have to shoot both of them, and then very quickly give them both a golden arrow, so that hopefully they will change back to villagers at the same time. Um, if it don't work out, then obviously we'll have to separate them. But I think it's a, I think it's worth a try. So let's go. One, 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 one. Come on. Okay, it nearly worked, but then it didn't work. So um, I think one of them, one of them cured first, and turned the other one back into the zombie, but. Uh, but Bob is all right again, so just need to cure unnamed Fletcher here. Still got my zombie round here, but Bob, are you behaving, Bob? Let's have a look. What's your prices like? Is it time to put you away? Dear, dear me. That's not changed at all, has it? But I guess this is the most important one, isn't it? The Silk Torch. And like I say, I can make shed loads of paper. So 18, I think I can live with 18. It's better than what it was before. Um, one book for an emerald, that's really good. That's down to 11 emeralds and a book for four and three. Probably won't use that at all. Um, emerald for four glass. And the name tag is down to 14 emeralds. Uh, still quite expensive, but I think I can live with that. I think this this was the most important one, wasn't it? We've got it down. 
so Bob, it's time to put you in your home. Okay, so for some reason, um, prices seem to have shot back up on their top um, level one, their first uh, trade on level one novice. So he's got up to 51 sticks now. Can you see, look? Shut up. Um, all his other prices stayed reduced, which was nice. And it's the same with um, cheeky little Bob over here, too. Uh, his prices. Oh, his prices didn't shoot up. His prices stayed the same. So that's not too bad. But it's also had the knock on effect of just in the prices of some of these round here as well. Now, what I want to try, now I've got them all in their, um, in their little cubicles. These guys that have got bars on, I'm wondering if I close the trap doors on all but one of them and so let's get this guy now we've got a bar in front of him but will the zombie be able to attack him with that bar in the way and will the zombie ignore all these other villagers because of trap doors being closed and if he does get zombified, will he stay in his cubicle? Let's find out, shall we? I've moved out of his line of sight, I think. So I'm just trying to watch him now, see if he's going to move over that zombie. Don't... I mean, that villager, the zombie moved over to the villager. Doesn't look like he's too interested at the moment. Just trying to stay far enough away so I can just watch what's going on. Go on. Come on, zombie. Go and get that villager. You know he's there. Let me just move further out of the way. But he don't want to play ball, does he? Why won't you play ball, zombie? Zombie! Go! Go! Go get the villager. Yum yums. Food. You know you like it. Go get him. Why won't you go and get him? You must be able to see him. He must be in your radar. I must be outside your radar. Just stuck there now, aren't you? Where you gone? Where's he gone? Oh, he's there. Oh, no, he's back on me again. Zombie! Come hither. If I stand here for a moment, will you go to him first? And then no, he's blocked by that. Zombie! Zombie! Oh, come on, zombie. Come on. Not even interested in me now, is he? Okay, different tactic. Get him in a boat, let's just see. Come on. You can do it, Mr. Zimbe. Hit him. Food, eat your villager. Come on, don't play with your food. Just eat. Can't reach, can you? Okay, okay. Okay, I think this is a good place to round up the episode. Um, Zimby the zombie likes to play with his food, but I'm going to work it out. I'm going to get it sorted. And, um, yeah, so I've got a lot of plans ready for the uh, next episode. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to um, give some name suggestions for these villager traders. And I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye!